I think the Batman going from this point onward is going to be the Batman from the Batman movie that just came out. And they're going to pretend like that that was always intentional. Because the new Batman movie did really well. And it would be insane for them to not pretend like that's the status quo Batman. And do sequels to that movie. And pretend like that movie was always meant to be in the DCEU. Today we are going to be doing a discussion. Today's discussion is a follow-up on the one I had a few days ago. Luminous is not here because she's not too into the things that we're going to be talking about today. So, I'm just telling you now, this is a little bit of uh, an update on the whole DC stuff that's going on right now. There is way too much DC stuff happening for me to make a bunch of different videos like some people are doing. Instead... I thought it would just be better to do one more video talking about everything that's getting cancelled, talking about everything that's getting reworked, and talking about the future things over at DC. So, um, one of the big things that's happening is that the Supergirl movie has been cancelled. We didn't know much about the Supergirl movie, we only knew it existed. It's still rumored if it was cancelled, but because it was never announced to begin with, they really don't have to tell anybody it was canceled. And uh, the Flash show is canceled on CW. And Gotham Knights, which was going to be another superhero show, is also canceled on CW. And because of Supergirl and Batgirl getting canceled, a lot of the Flash movie is being reworked and is being rewrote. Because they were supposed to be introduced... In the new Flash movie. The new Flash movie was going to introduce the future of the DC Universe. That being the female-led, um, diverse DC Universe. Yet again, I'm not critiquing that idea. I don't really care about the politics side of it. All I know is that they were reportedly going to reintroduce uh, Michael Keaton Batman. They were going to reintroduce the 1970s Superman. And then kill them off to pass the torches on to women. And that would have got a lot of people upset. That would have got a lot of people angry. Um, so it's probably good that they didn't do that. As far as I'm aware, they're still going to have Michael Keaton appear in the new Flash movie. So chances are they're still going to have 1970s Superman appear in the new uh, Flash movie. And in case you guys didn't know, Michael Keaton is the OG Batman from the 1980s Batman movies. Um... So yeah, that's still going to be happening. The Flash movie is still going to be happening. The big change is that what the Flash movie is going to lead up to is no longer happening. The Flash movie is going to reboot the DC movie universe where the new guy who's in charge of WB can introduce his version of the heroes that he wants to introduce and take the universe in the direction he wants to take it. Reportedly, he sees weakness over at Marvel right now with how they're changing their heroes to try to pander to people. So he's going to try to reintroduce the classic version of DC superheroes so he can fill the void left in the market that Marvel is going to create. It seems to be an intentional plan on the new head of Warner's uh, front. It seems like that this is going to happen all across um, you'll be lucky to see anybody permanently keep their roles who were from the old DC universe. I've been hearing that Ben Affleck might come back as Batman. I've been hearing that they might keep the Superman they had before. But I've also been hearing that Wonder Woman is getting recasted. Um, so I don't know what's going to stay. If, if you asked me, I'd say they're going to keep all the people for at least the Flash movie. And then the Flash movie is going to reboot everything. And they're going to recast everybody. I think the Batman going from this point onward is going to be the Batman from the Batman movie that just came out. And they're going to pretend like that that was always intentional. Because the new Batman movie did really well. And it would be insane for them to not pretend like that's the status quo Batman. And do sequels to that movie. And pretend like that movie was always meant to be in the DCEU. So, a lot of changes are happening. A lot more are going to happen. A lot of this is speculation, so don't take my word for it. I could be wrong in the next few days. Um, if anything big does happen, if any confirmations do happen, I might do an update video. But for now, this is my big video talking about the changes at DC and the changes at Warner. <laughs> 